to this WordPress setup video. In this video we're going to install WordPress onto our own hosting account. If you're not sure what WordPress is, just visit wordpress.com and have a look around. You can see that you can sign up for a free blog, but this will be installed on their server and you will be limited to the amount of extra features that you can add, so it's highly recommended to install it onto your own hosting account. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to sign up for a hosting account that has what is called a cPanel and this lets you do various features uh, which includes installing a WordPress blog. So once you have your hosting account you'll log into the cPanel which will look like this. As you can see there are various icons to choose from. The only one we need for the purpose of this video is one called Fantastico or Fantastico Deluxe. So if we click on that icon you'll then be taken to this screen which has various scripts that you can install on your website such as forums, image galleries etc. Now the only one we need here is one called WordPress so if we click on that link we get taken to the WordPress installation page now if there's any installations already on the website then they'll be listed here okay so we're going to install a new version of WordPress so we'll click new installation and this brings us to the first step of the installation. Now if you were to install it in the root of the site which means if someone was to type in your domain name and you want them just to see the blog then you would leave this first box blank. Now for the purpose of this video we're going to install it in a folder called test. You don't have to make the folder first the installation will do that for you so just type the name of the folder which you want the blog installing into. It can be as simple as blog. So that's the first step. The next step is to put in your username and a password. These will be just unique for yourself so you can log in and add content to the blog. The next thing, nickname, can be your name or just admin site name and description can be added from within WordPress so they're not too important at the moment and the email password again the blog by email feature isn't used that often um, but you can add the password anyway the next step just click install WordPress and it will give you a little bit of information on where the blog is to be installed so just click finish installation and that has now been installed so if we just copy this link paste it into there just for this purpose I'll take off the admin section and if we visit the actual blog itself you'll see the blog's been created and now all you need to do is configure how you want it to look okay this concludes this first WordPress installation video and hopefully it will make installing WordPress a lot easier for you from now on. Thanks for watching.